I charged the whole trip in Sanibel with this 15 amp, 120 volt outlet. Made two trips to Naples and one to the airport, and I'm leaving with 220 miles of range. All right, here we go. We are heading back to Ohio from Sanibel. It is 4.37 p.m. Due to technical difficulties and some unrelated lengthy now phone calls, I missed showing charging stops in Riverview, Florida, Ocala, Florida, and a repeat of the Jacksonville, Florida supercharger which was shown in our part one video of this trip. The stop in Riverview is in a shopping center that really did not have many food options. The stop in Ocala likewise did not have great food options to grab and go, at least not at the hour I was there. Special thanks to the nice young woman working the Wendy's drive through in Jacksonville who was kind enough to serve a truck driver and me at the drive through as both the McDonald's and Wendy's dining rooms remain closed, either for COVID or the night, I was not really sure which. A special feature of the Jacksonville stop is the fact that it is literally adjacent to the entrance ramp back onto I-10 East, making it very convenient. There was heavy traffic in Riverview, and the charger there seemed to be pretty far off the road. Traffic in Ocala when I was there was lighter, but it was also a little ways off the highway. This supercharger is also literally right on the highway. That was the exit ramp. And I'm turning into the supercharger now. Now you have arrived at your destination. Indeed I have. I also stopped at this one on the way down. This is a 250 kW charger, no sharing. Only getting about 183 kW. I'm not sure why that is. We should be at a low enough portion of the battery pack. We should be getting a full charge or real close to it. Anyhow, I'm going to crawl back now and take a little nap. Feet, stay straight to take the Interstate 95 North Ramp toward Florence. Now stay straight to take the Interstate 95 North Ramp. Alright, so. Took a little snooze there. Got fully charged uh, to where I had it set I think 90% at 306 miles it was uh, and now we're gonna go on and let's see where it says I think we're going to Columbia yes Columbia South Carolina so this is the southern end of Interstate 77 <clears throat> the northern end is in Cleveland at Lake Erie where it ends in Interstate 90 this is also just about the halfway point between Sanibel and Cleveland. So it's kind of a milestone on the way back home. We have about uh, about 20 miles to go to the charging station in Columbia, South Carolina. It's actually north of Columbia. Uh, it says we need a 30 minute charge. It's gonna be longer than that because I'm going to take another nap. All right, we are coming up on our exit for the Columbia, South Carolina supercharger, oh, well, although it's well north of Columbia. Interestingly, it's uh, 64 degrees out, and you will see that it is preconditioning the battery for faster charging. A little surprised with that, because it's only 64 degrees, which doesn't seem that cold, and I've been driving for about 12 hours, or uh, 10 and 11 hours. Uh, you would think the battery would be plenty warm, but... Now take exit 19 on the right. Don't want to miss our exit. This is an older 150 station, so we will make sure we don't share a cabinet. There's only one other car here. There was one leaving. I'm going to plug in. I'm going to run in and use the restroom, and then I am going to take a nap. All right, so we charged for about 45 minutes. Columbia supercharger. 
And while we were charging, we took a nap. And the nap felt so good that we unhooked, moved out of the charger space to a regular parking space, crawled back into bed and slept for several more hours. So now we're a little bit behind schedule, but we feel great. So here we are headed to Mount Airy, North Carolina. And I think we only have two more charges after that. It says we'll be home at 5.43 p.m. So it has me taking, uh, if I was just navigating to home, it has me going up to Whiteville, Virginia to charge. Um, there's a really scenic route from uh, around Mount Airy, kind of up in the foothills, up to Fancy Gap, and even up to Hillsville on Route 52. So I want to take that, and because that's going to cut it pretty close, I'm going to go to Mount Airy and charge just briefly, and then we'll uh, take the scenic route. So this is at a Sheets gas station. That's one of my favorite locations for a supercharger. They're always open. Uh, there's always restrooms and there's always food and drink available. So can't really go wrong at a 24 hour gas station for a supercharger.
Headed for the Mount Hope slash North Beckley, West Virginia supercharger. Looks like it is in a mall. Looks like it's in the Crossroads Mall. Have to see if there's anything uh, to get a drink there. I'm thirsty. This is our next to the last stop. The last stop will be Cambridge, Ohio, and then from there we'll be home. Alright, so we had some nice views of the mountains uh, on the West Virginia Turnpike. Unfortunately, I was on a conference call and did not get video of entering Ohio, but I am certainly back into Ohio. In fact, I'm 38 miles 
into Ohio, coming up on our final charging stop, Cambridge, Ohio, which uh, was our initial stop on the way down, so that kind of makes sense. All right, we got a, uh, I'm not gonna say it's full, but we got people here. 4A and 2B, so no 3A. 3A. All right, so it's a little crowded here. There's three of us. Uh, the gentleman beside me thought I was going to be sharing a cabinet, but he was actually on 2B. I'm on 3A, so even though we are adjacent to each other, we are not sharing, and that is obvious because I'm getting 132-ish kilowatts. All right, so by the time I went inside, used the restroom, got a drink, ordered a somewhat healthy sandwich, I hope. By the time I came out, I had enough to get home with the 10% buffer, so here we go. As we said last night, and I believe it was just south of Columbia, South Carolina, Interstate 77 begins there, ends at Interstate 90 in Cleveland. We won't be going quite that far. I get off on 271 to head a little bit east, um, but that is the length of Interstate 77. compared to 21 hours when I did the same trip with Mrs. E. Hermes Ford Explorer. If the Explorer achieved 20 miles per gallon, it would have taken approximately 65 gallons of gasoline to get home. They say that a gallon of gasoline has the equivalent of 36 kilowatt hours. So the amount of energy the Explorer would have taken would be 65 gallons times 36 would be 2,340 kilowatt hours. We use just 398 kilowatt hours of electricity or 17% of the energy that it would have taken the internal combustion engine vehicle. So it would have taken approximately six times the amount of energy to move the gasoline powered vehicle the same distance at about the same speed for a similar sized vehicle. So yes, electric vehicles really are much more energy efficient. However, it should be noted that gasoline packs a lot more energy into a smaller size than batteries do. And that's kind of the issue we have with electric vehicles. If we could get the batteries to store as much energy as you get in a tank full of gas, the range would be like a thousand or actually be more than that. It would be ridiculous. So that's what we have to work on is getting batteries to contain more energy and stay at a reasonable size. So again, thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, hit the bell button, and like us. And we will be back to you shortly with additional content. Sorry it was took a little long to get this one out, but we had some editing issues. Uh, but we're back in the saddle now.